Welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the official English trailer yes. for Earwig and the Witch. Of course, this is the big CG anime debut for Studio Ghibli. Uh, this is being directed by uh, Hayao Miyazaki's son, Goro Miyazaki. And it's a pretty basic tale. Um, basically, in the style of Miyazaki, of course, mm -hmm. uh, a little girl from an orphanage gets adopted by a witch. That's yeah. the basic premise we're going That's into. That's the basic this. premise. Um, so this is, of course... Oh, go on. Go ahead. No, continue. Oh, yeah. I was going to bring up the voice cast because this is the English trailer. So, of course, there's an English voice cast. Mm -hmm. So we have some... Do we have... We do have some recognizable names. I'm sorry. My, I am over my words today. <laughs> I'm going to double check. Okay. So, of course, um, so we have some familiar names like um, Jimmy Blanc, Richard E. Grant. Uh, we have Vanessa Marshall, Casey Musgraves, and, of course, Dan Stevens is in this cool. as well. Cool. Uh, cool. Yeah, uh, go since, on. Since, now you were yeah, saying. Yeah, you know, since our last trailer reaction pretty much we did for it, not a lot of people are liking the route they're taking uh, their animation style. I think a lot of people are all drawn into the – hand style the you know the the basic hand style type of drawings because they right. they're so beautiful and they know how to work with them the 3d animation there's you know there's a lot of people still like kind of like against it you know especially for for coming from studio ghibli yeah uh, so know? a good good reference i can make to that is um for some reason they nailed the style when they did um the video game nino kuni raffa the white witch yeah. where they did the 2d animation style and the transition to pure anime was actually well done um, the sequel, which Ghibli wasn't really involved in, but they still used the character models based off Ghibli's work, was still done well. Here, a lot of people are just like worried because like Ghibli they're doing, is they're, full, they're doing full blown 3D animation. 3D animation, and the problem with that is we like even I was see that's why I said in the preview show, even though the quality was like not great, it just. The, the the animation wasn't there like the thing is it's like everyone's used to the, their line work the way they draw their their style their style and things like that something that it's like you're really you're in awe of like what they deliver you know in these spacious you know environments like disney yeah it took a while for disney to figure out what to do of course they got help from of course they got help from pixar guys who yeah. have been in the computer animation business for many years now and, and they, they, if and they eventually true. got Oh, you know, they eventually got on their feet with stuff like uh, Bolt, uh, Meet the Robinsons, and stuff yeah. like that. It was really well done. But the problem with here is it is 2021. I can say that now, even though it's technically 2020. It's recorded. But it is 2021 now. And Pixar has practically mastered the art of doing computer animated yeah. films. Uh, other companies haven't mastered it, but they found the niche of makes it work. Like Disney, uh, Warner Bros. is getting back in the groove with their war animation group. Yeah, uh, with stuff like Storks and Smallfoot, and maybe that's that's all this is for Studio Ghibli. You know, they're they're just now starting to step into the arena with these other big films. You know, and I think, and I think uh, for them, it may you know even if they continue with this, uh, it may just take them a while before they actually can launch it. Exactly, because yeah, that's the point I'm trying to get at is it just it's not gonna be like with Disney. It's just gonna take a while. So this yeah. is their first time doing it. I think it's a Ghibli film, so I already know the story's probably going to be good. The animation's not going to be up there for some people, and I'm going to, yeah. I completely understand why, but some people are just probably going to have to have some patience with this, you know? It's yeah, not... yeah, that's all it is, you know? It's like they need to find their, you know, something that clicks for them within the 3D animation. When it came to 2D animation, they knew how to work with it. They gave it that gravitas, that pretty much that elegance that you look at and you're like, that is the most beautiful scene I've seen them do, you know, type of situation. And with the 3D, it's like it's going to take them all for they could, for them to start mastering it to try to add their style. To, so when you look at it, you say, "That's a Studio Ghibli film." You know, that's like that's yeah, what they, that's what it, it is. Like you said, it's just their first foot in the door with this, and we'll yeah. have to see where to go from here. But yeah. since we have so, a higher quality version of this, we can't be yeah. bit, a bit more detailed on our thoughts about the animation yeah. style. So let's dive into this for the official English trailer for Earwig and the Witch. So here we go. Ooh, okay. Erica, you haven't ever wished for 
can't even adopt you. Have you? Nope. That was abrupt. Somebody who choose me would be pretty unusual. <gasps> we'll take this one. Huh? For the first time in my life, I've been made to do something I don't want to do. Now then, let's you and I get a few things straight. My name is Bella Yaga. I always... Bella Yaga, like Babu Yaga. Yeah. You agree that you'll teach me magic, and I agree to help you out. If you work really hard, I shan't do anything to hurt you. A love potion for the boy next door? All of these are pretty useless to me. Mm. The spell I believe you're looking for is somewhere towards the back. Hang on, you actually talk? Of course I do. Just not very often. That's Dan Stevens. <laughs> yeah. In this household, there's one rule that's crucial. You must on no account for any reason ever dare disturb the man, Drake. Don't be rude. Richard Grant. Dance to, yeah, call it. A hole left by a witch can only be filled by a witch. I'll be learning magic. Well, so I was told. Can't wait to start. Okay, that was a better trailer. Yeah, it was, and I think what really helped this one for me personally is the music. The music really kicked so, it off. What it helps too is we got a bit more backstory. So it looks like her mom was a witch, but yeah. she dropped her off at an orphanage to protect her. And she gets picked up by another witch. And somehow this witch, her master, just happens to have a connection with her mother. Yeah. For the looks so, of it. So yeah, like it looks of it, yeah. Looks looks there used to be some car pipe. Yeah, because you can even if you look at the poster at the end here, you can see yeah. in the background. Yeah. Like they used to be part of like a band. They were a, a band of witches. Yeah. Instead. <laughs> yeah, different a, different um term used. And that's why that. I said you can hear it in the music. They're trying to add in that music uh style to it, you know, to try to really amp up the you know the trailer and you know just the style it's giving. Um, again, like you said, it's it, it, they're, they're 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 doing their best with the animation and what would they work with? I can see certain elements where it's like, yeah, the, I can see that Studio Ghibli style a little bit, but there are times when it's like, okay, that's they're, they're trying a little too hard sometimes, you know? Yeah, with the 1080p quality, it, I'll admit it looks better than I originally thought. It still need they still need work with it, in my opinion, yeah. but it looks better than I initially thought. I think the higher, as like I said before, I just think I needed to see a higher quality to have a better opinion on it. I like how they work. did the guy pretty much with the whole, you know, the hair and all of that type of stuff when he was playing the piano. Yeah, so it's it's really interesting because we definitely get a sense of what the story is all about in this one, which really does help because we didn't even understand what the hell they were talking about at all in the previous trailer. Yeah. <laughs> so um, honestly, yeah, it looks good. Um, like I said, visually you know it's going to take time for for a lot of people to get adjusted even for ghibli to get adjusted doing more computer animated work yeah so it's, I, it's, I really... this, this could be just that one film that they're trying to test the waters to see what it does so we don't know for you know we don't even know for real if this is like the, the this are one and done and that's it because they're experimenting or like you said you know it's like is this their step towards doing more computer animated films yeah, I am sorry. I'm giving you a second. I'm looking up the official uh, U.S. release date for this because it didn't say in. Uh, I'll put dot date. Okay, so no, that's the official initial release. Oh uh, yeah, all right. So they have right now is a early 2021 release for America. Yeah, right so now. sometime in because the films. Yeah, the film film came out all the way came back out back in October. Yeah. So um, yeah, America is getting it early. Okay, but yeah. I think overall what's going to propel it is not going to be the animation style for now, but it's going to be, of course, the Ghibli charm of the story they tell. The story. I think that's what's going to help it enough pretty much is, is their storytelling. The animation is like we know that they can work on it. They can improve on it and make it their own. Um, but I think they have to pull what Pixar did, which is they focus on just the story. You know, it's like this focus on the story. That can, that's what can deliver what you're trying to tell, you right. know. Yeah, but so. I enjoyed it though. I, I I fairly enjoyed it. Um, I'd probably definitely, of course, I'll be definitely watching, especially with my wife and my little one. 
So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Studio Ghibli original films, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this film. Do you still are kind of iffy with the way they're doing it with the 3D animation? Or, you know, after watching it in a much more higher quality, do you kind of have a little bit trust? Or you still want to stick to, you want, you still want them to stick to just the regular 2D animation because that's what you enjoy, that's what you love, and that's what they work with the best. I mean, do you want to see more 3D animated films coming from Studio Ghibli to see if they can improve? Or you just want to say, no, this is it. This is one and done they should do. I mean, let us know in the comments down below. Put down what you thought of this. Uh, put, put down what you thought of our reaction to this trailer. But most importantly, we thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. This has been a very witch-filled episode of SRB. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.